Welcome back to the channel. My name is A Bumble. We're back with Uncharted Drake's Fortune for the last time. We're going to finish this up today. We're going to go around and pick up some more guns, though. There we go. We're full up. And we've got some AK ammo. That should be good enough. Right. We're going to finish this today. We're going to go down here. We are at the, the true location of El Dorado. It turns out we were in this church and we were on top of it this whole time. Uh, we've managed to regroup with Sully. Uh, Elena is still being held captive by Navarro and by Roman. And we're going to go and find the treasure. Find them. Um, but yeah, we've come back to the church. Solly is with us. He's down there. Hopefully he's okay. Uh, and yeah, we found out about, you know, the curse of the treasure. And yeah, we're now we're going to see if we can stop them from taking it away. Down we go. If you've enjoyed this then do drop a like and leave comments. You want to tell me what the hell's going on? Drake didn't want to get the treasure off the island, Sully. He was trying to stop it from leaving. What? It's cursed or something. Oh, Nate, for God's sake. Look, I know it sounds crazy. You just got to trust me. There's probably going to be some treasure around here somewhere. Almost certainly. Just having a last look because I'm not sure if there's any more after this. We definitely missed some treasure. There's one. The gold skull rose. We've almost got half of them though. That's not too bad considering I'm not really looking for them. I remember where a few of them are. But not a great deal. So yeah, we got almost half. I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm just having a quick look around for them. And there it is. Well, there's Elena. I still got her. <laughs> you two should realize by now that I plan for every contingency. Now drop your weapons. Down there. No heroics, please. Or I will kill her. Rather Navarro will. Good. Now, if you'll just hang tight, we'll be with you in a moment. It's magnificent. The craftsmanship. I've never seen anything like it before. That is only a shell. The real treasure of El Dorado lies inside. <laughs> Open it! I smell a rat here. How does he know there's stuff inside? I mean, there is. But there's that. Watch this. See, he knows. He knows about the treasure's curse. There's a corpse inside there still. It was a sarcophagus, it wasn't just a statue. And that's what it turns them into. It's turned into one of the you know, like the descendants. And there goes there goes Roman. Adios, jefe. So little imagination. <laughs> Lower the net. I speak Spanish. That thing wiped out an entire colony. You don't know what you're doing. Wrong. I'm the only person on this island who knows what the hell he's doing. Load the statue. Hey, look, my Spanish is paying off. Careful. <laughs> you are so pathetic. All of you scrambling around for your petty treasures. Do you have any idea what this is worth? To the right buyer? Raise it. Oh, it's the, it's the descendants. Jesus, what are those things? It's the Spaniards, Sully. They never left. Oh, my God. If that thing gets off the island, you gotta stop him. I'll cover you from here. 
All right, there goes Navarro and Elena. Roman is now dead. Now, what you could do, which you don't want to do, is jump down here and take a shortcut. Here's what happens if you do. You get pulled on the by a descendant near the water. You don't want to do that. Just thought I'd show you that. But we've got that sort of shotgun now. So, uh, you want to go down this way. And you want to run and gun. And then not get caught by him. But basically, you've got to sort of run and gun and, you know, shoot the descendants out of the way and try and get try and get to the statue. Uh, that's the wrong way. I don't remember where I'm going. Ah, here we go. It's up this way. There we go. That's what you do. Oh, we got shot. Okay. Yeah, my health was a little bit too low. But basically, you've just got a running gun. You can aim for the actual mercenaries, but the actual, like, the, the descendants, you want to you want to run and gun. You don't really have time to aim. Oh, God. Oh, and we got shot again. There we go. There you go. If you aim, it's a bit better. I know there's another one up here. There you are. I think that's all of them. I think it was only three, if I, if I remember correctly. There we go. And you want to jump onto the statue. That's it. That's what you've got to do. Hey! There's no translation needed for that. Oh, good going. Oh, there goes the pilot. That's a problem. Hopefully Navarro now is going to fly a helicopter. That, well, I guess that's his, uh, that's his ship. That's his aircraft carrier. What aircraft carrier? It's a ship. It's a boat. It's not an aircraft carrier. What are you talking about? Oh, dear. Hopefully Elaine is okay in there. And, well, not, not so much Navarro. Well, thanks for translating for me that time, Navarro. Okay. This is the final showdown. Chapter 22, showdown, right. Into cover, right, so we've got a bunch of guys to kill. And we've only got a shotgun to do so. Navarro's there, and he's got laser sight. So you've got to avoid him. Oh, that was a terrible shot. Once you've killed everyone, then he will move. So that's kind of what you've got to do. You've got to kill everyone. You can't kill Navarro. He, he, he can't actually be killed until later. So you basically just got to try and kill everybody in the area. And then you're able to move on. That's basically how this bit works. So he's there again. We've got no grenades, unfortunately. Let's wait a bit for our health to come back. Wait, we're being shot from somewhere else. Right, there might be more on the way. There are.
Oh, and we're dead. Okay. Needed a bit more ammo there. We were kind of running a bit low. Uh, I think we... Did we get a... Okay, I, I don't think we got a... Uh, I don't think we got a checkpoint, unfortunately. But that was a nice, good shotgun shot. Oh, just got caught by Navarro. That was tough. This is difficult. It's the last part of the game. It's going to be tough. Thing, the good thing is you start to learn the pattern of his shots as well. Like, you know... See, I know that, that it's bang, 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 bang. So you can kind of predict when he's going to shoot. Or you kind of know when he's going to shoot. Uh, I think we are going to go for the M4. So up to 63. Because we've got more ammo for it here. So that's one of them. Oh, I was out in the open. I didn't realise our cover had broken. So it's just tough. It's very hard. And they're very picky with checkpoints as well. Do we keep the shotgun, maybe? I don't know if we can come back to a previous area. So that's why I'm a bit, you know, concerned about leaving all this ammo here. So we're going to take it. We've got 76. That's plenty. Well, not plenty, but it's good. Wait for that health to come back. Oh! I, I said wait for the health to come back and I still poked my head out. I'm, I'm trying to rush it and I need to not. Fifty kills with the M4. Good going. Right, now here come the others. See, now we've only got 23. Two more to get. Right, one more. Got one more and he's over there. And now we're out. Right. Oh, oh, it's really hard. Right, I think I'm going to stick with a shotgun. I'm going to stick with a shotgun and hope that I can maybe come back and get this ammo. It's a bit of a risk, but I'm taking it. Right, that one should be easy to take up. This might be better, actually. Oh, much better. Why did I not do this before? Oh, come on! It wasn't like... That should not have broken there soon. Right, we can get that guy down in one. That's good. Okay, this is going better already. Right, that's good. This is better. This is much better. Oh, I'm out of 
Get my shells. Right, one left. All right, we've actually made some progress. Unbelievable. Right, can we move back that way now? Oh, we can. Okay, I assumed you couldn't. Right, so we'll go back for for all this ammo then. Nice. I wasn't sure if you could come back or not. I think there's a point where you can't. But there we go. We've actually made some progress, people. Right, so we should be able to get a little bit more ammo from these. Oh, we're actually... Well, we're full. Right, we've got full ammo. That's good. Right, now let's move on. Right, so quick time event. Move out of the way of that. And we're back again. Oh, he's not dead yet. There we go. At least there's only a couple. I was going to say there's a couple of them, but I can see another one coming down the stairs. I knocked his helmet off, though. That's good. There we go. Uh, I think there's another one somewhere. Oh, there's a grenade. There we go. Right, we're actually making some progress. Nice. Uh, I wonder if there's a treasure around here. Maybe around the side of the boat. Although it doesn't look like it. It was worth a go. It was worth a look. Thought there might be, but no. Would have been a good place to have one. Like in the, in the middle of the quote-unquote final boss. Uh, have we got all the ammo that we can get? I think we have. And here we go. This is the last bit. We've actually made it to the to the final boss. There's Lena. But there is Navarro. Okay, this is kind of the final boss, but it's it, it's mainly a quick time event. You've just got to get to him. Okay, I couldn't remember what you actually do there. Oh no, I know. You'll take a couple of pot shots, and then you've got to m make your way forward. And that's it. Basically, now it's just a final boss of, of quick time events. Oh, oh yeah, but then you've got to actually hide again after that. So there is a little bit more work to do. I couldn't remember. That last shot is like an insta-kill. You've got to be careful. Right, let's do this again. So I think you do have to kind of cover again once he gets to the gun. I, or do you just have to get there quicker? I think I'm just being too slow. Because there's nowhere to cover. So we'll blow that cover up. And then he'll blow these ones up. You've got to get there. There we go. And then he'll take two more shots. And there we go. Okay. We'll try this again. I think you've just got to get to him. As quickly as you can, because otherwise he'll he will kill you. Because I thought you had to cover again, but there's nowhere to cover. So you've just got to get to him. There we go. And that's it. Pretty not easy, quick time event, but yeah, done. And the good thing is the difficulty trophies stack so we just got the easy normal and hard trophies
There goes Navarro, and there goes the treasure. To the bottom of the sea. So it's definitely going to be lost forever now. No one's going to find it again, hopefully. It's not the boat you had at the start, Sally. Unfortunately, that crashed. Yeah, yeah, save the world, triumph over evil. Pretty typical. <laughs> really? That's a shame we're leaving empty handed, though. Oh, well, you know, I, I did manage to save one small thing. Here, I, I thought you might miss this. Thanks. Yeah. You two got a funny idea of romantic. Sully! Wow, you you look like hell. You should see the other guy. <laughs> got us a boat. Uh, we already have a boat. Yeah, big boat. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one better. <gasps> <laughs> Sully, you beautiful son of a bitch. Barred it off a couple of pirates who were too dead to care. <laughs> Sorry you didn't get your story. Well, that's all right. Now the other stories. You still owe me one. I'm good for it. There we go. Uncharted Drake's fortune. Um, bits of it still hold up. Like I, I love the story. Like bits of it still hold up. Um, other bits that like you know haven't aged too well. Like some of the gunfights, you know, I don't think have aged aged great. And it's 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 a short game, but it's it's the first game in this series. You know, they weren't really sure where it was going to go. It has evolved to be you know one of PlayStation's biggest selling series. So it's got that going for it. Um, but yeah, no, I said that Uncharted is my favourite. Um, video game series um, probably ever and yeah you know it still is it still holds up and you know 14 years later almost yeah still as fun as ever now I, I did say at the end of the last time that I might be jumping straight into 2 uh, we're not going to do that just because 2 is a bit longer and um, it is just a, it's, it's more fun like 2 I think is the best of the four games but I, I don't want to get into that that point of, you know, playing it too much and, and getting burned out. So I am going to separate them, not as much as I usually do. Like when I did the Bioshock games, I think they were about a year apart. So I might do one series and then come back for Uncharted 2 and just have one in between. Just so I've got that little thing in between. Um, just so, we, again, we don't get burned out. So we are going to be starting Hitman next. Because that's, uh, you know, a game that didn't managed to be part of the vote when we were voting for this game um, because unfortunately I installed it and there were a few problems but those are all sorted now it works fine so we're going to start Hitman in the next video which should be Thursday I think it is no Friday I think it's Friday I can never remember what my schedule is but yeah I think it'll be Friday so we've got that to look forward to but yeah uh, this game still holds up after all this time I, I really really enjoy Uncharted um, Drake is you know He's cocky, but he's not, like, arrogant. And, you no, know, Sully is, like, one of the best supporting characters in terms of games. Like, you know, being the part of Drake's mentor. Um, I'm interested to see what happens with the upcoming Uncharted movie. Which is, um, I'm, well, there should be a trailer for it soon. They've wrapped up filming. Um, Tom Holland is in it, playing a slightly younger Nathan Drake, of course. Uh, more famous for being Spider-Man slash Peter Parker. Victor Sullivan's being played by Mark Wahlberg, which I think is one of the weirdest castings for him. Like Sullivan for me would have been someone like he'd probably be a bit old for it, but someone like J.K. Simmons would have been, I think, good. Um, it just seems like Mark Wahlberg is being himself with Sully, 
but again i've only seen photos i haven't seen the trailer uh mark Wahlberg doesn't have a mustache as sully so unless sully's undercover that just doesn't sit right with me but, um i'll still definitely give it a look because you know i like the game series it's not often that movies adapted from vi video games do well i mean doom was terrible um so i'm interested to see what happens with this one because again movie video game tie-ins tend not to do very well and tend to be pretty bad but we'll see how it goes we'll, we'll, we'll see what it's like but yeah no i i really enjoy these games yeah I, I really enjoyed this game you know it's a bit shorter but it's the first one um there's no real like thing things in the story that i don't like it's it's you know some of the, the firefights are a bit like repetitive you know it's a third person shooter i think it's gonna be um, there's a lot of gunfighting, so you know it does get a bit frustrating at times, especially when you die over and over and over again. But um, you know, they they build on that during during the series. You know, if you go to the fourth, like going forward into the fourth game, I'm not to say too much, not to give anything away, but there's a lot more vehicular stuff, and it's a lot different. Um, it definitely turns more and more and more into an action and adventure, and it is very much at the start. It's it's, it's an adventure game with quite a bit of third person shooter it's not a bad thing you know it's the same with tomb raider kind of there's a lot of shooting in that but then there's lots of other stuff as well but yeah really enjoyed this um at, you know i've this i think it's the third sort of time around of playing it i've played through the actual story uh probably i reckon this is my fourth time playing through the story because i played it on medium when i very first played it and then I played it on hard because originally on the PS3 you had to play it on hard to unlock the crushing difficulty, which is even harder. So I played it a second time to play it on hard and then I completed it on crushing and managed to get all the trophies, which involve killing, you know, people with a certain weapon and everything. Uh, and then this is the fourth time playing it for the PlayStation 4 and I'll have to do another playthrough on crushing to unlock Brutal. So I'm going to end up playing through this story probably like six times, maybe even more not going to complain about it I, I like it so uh yeah that that will be sometime down the line i think but um we will be revisiting uncharted probably sooner rather than later uh, with uncharted 2 among thieves uh but first we're going to jump into some hitman so uh that's what we've got coming up next if you enjoyed the video do drop a like down below and leave comments they're the best ways to support and help the channel and if you haven't done so already or if you're new then do subscribe and turn on notifications and next time we'll jump into hitman hopefully you're in looking forward to that I've never played a Hitman game, but we're starting with the sixth instalment of the series. So, <laughs> apparently it's a good place to start it if you haven't played before, so that's what we're going to do. And if things don't turn out well, then blame my friend. But um, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.